You spent some time working in brothels. Yes. Um, and you've been very open about your thoughts on that industry. What was your biggest issue with the Nevada brothels when you worked there? Uh, many. Oh my God, so many. I mean, it's a lot to talk about, you know. Um, it's only they give us a, a legal platform where a lot of illegal stuff are going on, mm -hmm. you know. So that's like oh, pff, defeating the purpose of giving us a legal platform if mm -hmm. a lot of shit is going to happen like this and nobody checks. I mean, nobody checks. Mm -hmm. no, not one person ever checked. Actually, yeah. Homeland Security. Homeland Security on 1st of April. So I, I even thought during the lineup and they put the badge, it was three of them, badges and everything. Mm -hmm. I thought it was an actual April Fool. So that's the first thing I said in the lineup. That's an April Fool. No, no, no. And plus I had an accent. First one interrogated. Boom. For me. Yeah. Wait, they came into the brothel? Mm -hmm. they came, yeah, and it was an African girl. So her name was, her name was Tanya. No, Kenya. Kenya from Kenya. Excuse me. Kenya, Russia from Russia, Frenchie from France. So they were like, they were uh, like, it was clearly a joke for the, for the, for the Homeland Security. They checked on me first and I just explained them, listen, I, I do have an accent. I was born here. You know, I'm as American as an American, you know, it's just that my accent is a little thick. That's it. So they let me go. But then they, yeah, yeah every single person they, they interrogated. So what was the reason for coming into the brothel? Making sure that uh, we were legally uh, working. Oh, you were yeah. working so legally the with a working visa and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and you because I know that in Nevada you have to have a special license. Oh my god, big time! Yeah, Just on a weekly like a police basis, license, right? Yeah. Uh huh. You go to the sheriff to get it gotcha. on a weekly basis. If you don't pass the the medical, uh, you cannot stay in the brothel. You you have to pass the the, the STD every single week, which is crazy when the you you. you, you Girls bring STD. They have to pack up and go. And they say, yeah, well, I have an emergency. We know you just didn't pass your STD test. Right. Because they do bear. They do bear stuff. Yeah. Right. And they're so, not supposed to. Not at all. Okay. Even the BJ. Even the BJ is supposed to be um, covered. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 We hired, um, when I w went to Amsterdam, right out of high school, when gr my graduation present was going to Europe, and my boyfriend and I hired um, a sex worker in Amsterdam. And yes. I remember she put a condom on my boyfriend before she blew him. And I remember, I'd never seen that before. I was mm -hmm. like, whoa. It's, part of me was like, ew, that's so gross. And then the other part of me was like, wow, she's really responsible. <laughs> yeah, I think it's by law. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so, um, that, so you're going to have secret shopper actually checking on that, which is crazy. Imagine like that's the best job in the fucking world for a man. You're going to be a secret shopper and check if the girls are going to, uh, you know, follow the law. I don't think they go all the way to the BJ, but they're going to see if, you know, if you actually go for it, the the the, the bros will get fined. Or the girl, I'm not even sure what is the repercussion, to be honest, actually. I don't do that, so I don't know. So, okay, so so you have a, so yeah, because you have this at, you know, people posing as, or minors pretending to be older, and then they go and like try to buy cigarettes. And if you buy in, at supermarkets, and if you sell them cigarettes without same the thing. ID, same thing. So they go in without, and then they try to get the woman that they hire to do illegal things, such as n no condoms, right? What else would they be looking for? That's it, really. Or if you try to take the, the clientele out of the house. So that would be Dennis's. So that would be a different type of uh, secret shopper. Dennis would send secret shopper to check if we would be willing to take the clients out of the house, cutting the commission with the... Oh, and, like, okay. So in, but and, that's his own... Uh -huh, that was his that's own not way. the government. No, but right. that was his own way to, you know, make sure that we're not doing that. The government would check for um, just if, if we use condoms, of course. Right. I think that's what they would check. If we're legal to work there, obviously, and if we use condom in... That's, that's really all is required. Nothing is really required. There is, it's very minimal what we are being asked, you know? Right. A lot of girls that had herpes, they could work there, you know? Yeah, yeah like you can work with herpes there. This well, the problem with herpes is that it's not curable, so... Yeah, you, you had staff, staff infection, and the girls with staff infection, they had that's, to leave. That's, like, that was ridiculous yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At Cherries, I had a bed, um, bed bug bite, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, I mean, really bad, you know, like in a, in a line like this, you know, so mm -hmm. uh, it's not sanitary at all. No. no, not like that. It was a lot going on, but going back to the, to the Bunny Ranch, which I didn't stay long enough, I went to the Love Ranch, which is a mile away. It was way more tranquil mm -hmm. there because Dennis would not go. I didn't like Dennis. I, he's, it was too much with him. Right. And we're heavy. talking about Dennis Hoff, by the way, for people who yeah, didn't Hoff. catch on because we didn't say his full name. So. And okay. so... You know, he, he he was clearly a sex addict and he was uh, getting his dose on a, on a daily, mm -hmm. right. several times a day. Yeah. Yeah. And he would pick and choose and it was this whole dynamic that he does, that he did. And 
he gave me mental. I, 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 I don't know why I stayed so long because maybe I rotated. It wasn't all the time there. Mm -hmm. I rotated two weeks at a time, two weeks out, two weeks in, sometimes mm -hmm. a month off. I couldn't do it towards the end. I was, I was just seeing too much. Everything that was going on there was just mm -hmm. not okay. Yeah. I had to go. Yeah. yeah. 